Hey everybody, it's Emily from Redhound Reiki. Hope you're all doing great. Thank you for everyone who's liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate that. Please don't forget to share and, uh, and encourage your friends to like and subscribe as well. I'm just getting on quickly to do a um, daily tarot read for the full moon in Pisces tonight. It's August 26th. Um, of course, I do intend that anytime you come across this reading, that it contains a message for you. So regardless of the date, um, if you've come across this, it's synchronistic and um, there will be a message for you in it. So I've just pulled all of these cards and this is a different deck. I've never actually used this deck before, even though I've had it for like maybe a year. Um, it is the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. Um, so I have just cleared and shuffled and pulled all the cards out. I have not channeled the messages yet, so we're going to do that now. So a number of you are having a new beginning in the love or emotion sector. Um, this can be profound self-love, profound divine love, profound romantic love. Um, it can be platonic love, but usually it's very, very profound, and that typically falls in the sector of self-love, divine love, or romantic love. Um, this love comes in as you find balance within yourself as you start to unify the halves of yourself you've got a mass everyone has a masculine and everyone has a feminine half of them themselves and when you unify those there's an equal balance within yourself which allows you to bring in this profound love um as you're doing that there is time for planning there's there's some waiting there's some um setting of goals there is um, a balancing a continued balancing of those energies especially the spiritual energies um, and this is you're very successful at this like this is leading you directly onto your path of destiny um, triumphant destiny and also um it's you sort of winning the day as you move forward. Um, and as you see at the top of the next column, you literally have victory and success. So um, the, the key to your success here is finding balance within yourself and balancing those energies inside your own body. And this brings about a kind of spiritual union, whether that's within yourself, between your masculine and feminine halves, which we've already talked about, or whether this calls in that um, uh, soulmate kind of energy um, at this time. It also can be the meeting of another person who shares the same... Um, either ideas of, as you or the same vision as you or the same energetic vibration as you. It can be any of those things, but we're calling in another person who, um, who is a match and who is going to contribute to our moving forward in a successful way at this time. Um, this is a destined meeting. As much as I keep dry, trying to drive this away from like a romantic type thing, it really feels like it could be. Um, it could also be have something to do with life purpose. So that could still be somebody on a sort of platonic level. But this person is like destined to be in your life um, and, uh, and help you achieve some purpose um, and achieve a level of stability and fulfillment in your life where... Um, you're able to affect the physical world in a very positive way. Um, 
I'm feeling that there is a typically when the the chakra cards come out of different decks I feel like that points to a place that needs clearing but in this case I don't actually feel that way I feel like um, the sacral chakra card appearing here means that there's a strong um, either sexual attraction or there's a very strong creative force um, that pulls you together and that the two of you are necessary to um, to bring about the desired result um, and that it may take some more time still some additional patience and planning um, a lot of courage and um, willpower and strength uh, but this is a brand new beginning and it is backed by one of the most powerful uh, energy centers like powerhouses in our body the sacral chakra so there's a lot of creative energy here there um, could be a lot of passionate energy here um, and it's almost like a kind of alchemy uh, between the two people. Um, whether, again, whether it's like uh, some kind of romantic relationship or some kind of like uh, brilliant spark of an intellectual or, or creative, artistic, some kind of relationship in that manner. So... The final column is kind of like the conclusion. And this in this reading, it kind of tells me what you need to do to get there. This is almost like the column that has to do with the full moon. Here are, here are the things that you need to take into consideration to, to open up all this amazing uh, progress that is waiting right in front of you right now. And the first thing is, is that there are things that you need to leave behind they are no longer resonating with you they are no longer helping you they're actually hurting you they are keeping you in darkness when you need to be walking in the light um there's more healing to be done um and keeping the positive the higher vib vibrational um, signature is going to be important to making sure you don't slip back into that dark place that you keep moving forward into the light place um, and holding on to hope as one of those high vibrational energies and this also is going to attract in um, the healing that you need I'm also seeing just because of the big bright sun on that card that says hope um, feeling like there may be some solar plexus healing that needs to take place and the solar plexus um, is courage and it is your own identity and it is your ability to recognize your own needs and step forward confidently and that's needed because the next card is movement choices and decisions there are decisions that need to be made and like I said to someone else this evening it's like a shift or be shifted time so the decisions need to be made whether you feel like making them or not they're going to be made so you might as well make them on your ter terms um, and we're going through a period right now facing our fears of integrating our shadow um, and accepting it for what it is so that we can move forward in that sort of unified in that sort of unified sense um, I get the sense that there's strength in recognizing your weaknesses and recognizing uh, the parts of you that you have tried to shut off or shut out um, mm. And that readmitting them to your consciousness and to your life is part of the healing that's needed in the solar plexus to be able to move forward and to confidently make this decision and to then usher in this new era, this new love beginning, whatever that love may be, and this victory and these successes and this incredible union and your destiny. 
So I think the most important thing to take from this right now is um, to continue to have hope, to uh, integrate your shadow selves by sending each one of those pieces of yourself love, whether it's the part of you that is easily frustrated and you don't like that, or maybe it's the part of you that you're embarrassed about that maybe, you know, I don't know, was overweight or um, wasn't good at math or the part of yourself that um, gets impatient with your children or is not you know, the most social, whatever it is about yourself that you are in some way ashamed of or try to fight against or um, wish you weren't. It's time now to take that part of yourself and to love it back into yourself, to bring yourself into wholeness, because we're all of those things. We're all our light and our dark. And integrating them will allow us to move forward as a whole person and in wholeness and in healing uh, into this new chapter. It also allows us to attract another person who is in their wholeness so that you can, um, because you don't really want to start pulling in more people who are fragmented. So we're talking about whole people and whole and healed people attracting each other into the right situations to be able to carry out a certain purpose or a certain destiny um, with victory and success. So I hope this is helpful. Um, remember to integrate your shadow on this full moon and continue to do that. This is a long, possibly lifelong process. So don't think that this is what we're doing tonight and you'll never have to do it again. Just wanted to bring your attention to that. And um, I hope you have a great night and I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Don't forget to share, subscribe, or like, or comment. And I am hopeful that I will get to talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.